Seven signs you are a true introvert. One, people drain you. <laughs> now, I know there's some extroverts out there that may be listening like, hold on, people drain me too. Yeah, everybody's drained by people to a certain degree. But when it comes to introverts, people rapidly drain you. You can be an extrovert, you had 20 conversations with people throughout the day. By the 38th person, you a little burnt out. You like, uh, introvert. By the second conversation of the day, they already like, uh, they be ready to go home and put an ice pack over their head and hide in a dark room, <laughs> okay? That is what is more like to be an introvert. So as an introvert, the drainage and the cost of their energy is a whole lot higher just through day-to-day -day interaction. Sign number two. You don't feel a need to share. Now, when I say share, this can be in regards to your personal life. This can be in regards to things about your day. This can be in regards to your own thoughts that's going on in your head, right? Introverts rather think things through and keep things to themselves. And also, I think another cause for this is because introverts are aware of their low social battery, so they avoid sharing and avoid saying this and saying that because they know the more stuff they share and put out there, the more conversations they gotta have, which is the more cost of their energy. They rather just be quiet, conserve their energy, and focus it on their work. Sign three, you seem less enthusiastic about things. Not even just anything in life, but more so, you don't display enough positive energy for people. People just don't seem like, person could tell you, hey, I'm getting married next week, and you just like, Hey man, cool. Congratulations. <laughs> they like, you don't care? Or a person come to you, ah, I hit the lottery. Look. You like, that's good. Congratulations. <laughs> they like, what you are you not happy for me? Or you must just be a hater. You know, you just like, nah, that's just how I am with stuff. Like, even if I hit the lottery, this is probably how I will react the same way. Right? You just your enthusiasm isn't what people think it should be, and you feel in the same emotion, right? You can be just as happy for somebody, you just express it differently. And they always appear low, but at the end of the day, that's you doing what introverts do best. And that's saving energy and just not being extra. You don't want to be extra, right? Sign number four, you prefer to work alone. Y'all, that's all I do. I'm working alone for the most part of my life. This is actually working alone right here. So a lot of YouTubers are introverts because it's a one man job for the most part, unless you got like a social media team and all of that. But even starting now, it's always more so a one man job. And as an introvert, you're just more productive when you work alone. I, I mean, I think it's a gift from God, to be honest with you, that alone makes you more productive, right? Versus an extrovert who more so needs people around them to charge them up, to motivate them. And there's nothing wrong with that at all, right? It's just different people, different strokes for different folks, right? So working alone is your advantage. Some people, they need to work with a lot of people, like I said. But for you, luckily, you got that superpower. Solo dolo, you move mountains. Number five, you prefer one-on-one -on -one social interactions rather than group interactions. And this is pretty much tied to the last sign, right? Wanting to work alone. You just prefer to be, if you are going to deal with people, it's better one-to-one, -one, right? I don't know, like even for me, like I'm better, I learn more from a person when they're training me one-to-one -one versus a lecture. You get what I mean? Like the math teacher, for example. I remember being in class, math teacher doing all the work on the board. I'm sitting there lost. The moment I raise my hand, the math teacher come help me and write out the problem right in front of me and tell me, hey, yep, Ross, do this, do that, do that. Some reason, boom, it just clicks. And I'm just like, oh, so <laughs> my one-to-one -one interactions is more productive for me. So that's one hidden power that a lot of introverts have. Well, you could say hidden power, either way it goes. It's a good thing to have because it makes you one-to-one, -one, you got it. One-to-one, -one, you the truth. But yeah, when you're in a big big environment, you tend to lay back a little more. You tend to absorb less inner, inner information and your energy is less, you know, you got less energy in those type of settings. But that's just naturally who you are as an introvert. And that's okay. Number six, you are easily overstimulated. Now, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. This one pretty much sums up the last five. This is like the the deep root of why <laughs> introverts are introverts. This is the essence and what makes an introvert an introvert. 
you get overstimulated a lot easier than obviously the average extrovert or whatever. And this is pretty much, you could put it in simple terms. When you, you could be in the same environment as an extrovert, right? But positive environment, high energy, all of that stuff. And the introvert energy is going down like this. While the extrovert, actually some extroverts energy go up, right? So you gotta learn that overstimulation is not good for you. You gotta learn ways to not overstimulate yourself so you can get your work done, <laughs> okay? This is something I've struggled with over the years. I always wonder why, like I've been in some great environments with some great people, high energy, enthusiastic, right? And we all love positive energy, but even as an introvert, you gotta be careful. All energy drains you. I don't care if it's positive or if it's negative. I'll be there in those environments and you know, I'm there for an hour or two. Then afterwards, I'm just burnt out. Like, I just don't want to do no work now. Like, we just talked about work, right? And then by the end of it, I'm like, man, I could have used all that energy on the work itself, right? But as an introvert, it's good to be aware of that and to understand that. And if that touches you, <laughs> if this sign is something you deal with, I can always guarantee you, you are an introvert. And last but not least, you enjoy your alone time for long periods of time, I might add, right? As an introvert, that's just your only way to recharge. Maybe not the only way, but for the most part, you recharge best alone, right? Like Squidward when he was in the little, little thing. You just love to be alone, right? Because as an introvert, it's something about that freedom of just being you. Like you don't really feel like you can just be you unless you are alone. I'm not speaking for all introverts, but I know for me, that's one of the things I enjoy about being alone. I just feel like I could just breathe and just let loose and just be myself, right? And as an introvert, that recharges you. You got some people who they they can let loose and be themselves. They don't care who they're around, right? They just openly be themselves and they can recharge, right? Open. But as an introvert, you might need to close off and go into a you know, going to your room or just sit in your car, listen to music, do whatever you can to just have that free alone time. Those, so those are my seven signs that you are a true, I'll put a five. Those are my seven signs that you are a true introvert. For more on introvert stuff, and if you think you are an introvert, if these signs spoke to you, check out this video here. It's about, or right there, one of them spots. It's pretty much five reasons why introverts are so attractive because as an introvert you got a lot of things going on sometimes you can be to yourself and not really out there and always wondering like why people want to be around me what brings people to me this video will really help you and open your eyes to reasons why people are drawn to you i'm rasta white here to help you unleash your inner hero thank you for watching